So this is the first gen version and Volbot sent us a second gen version. With this second generation version, we can now customize our own app and we're going to test it out if it works as expected. So let's go! So Volbot updated a few things with this Gen 2 firmware version 0.2.5. Not a lot, but now we can customize the Pomodoro app as you can see. Additionally, in the miscellaneous options, we can now disable or enable these features. Since we're developing our own app today, we'll obviously turn on the developer mode to get started. So before we begin, let me show you the things that we will be needing. The Vobot mini dock, obviously. A USB-C cable. Windows, Mac, or Linux computer. As for me, we're going to use the Windows PC. Lastly, install the Tony Python IDE for beginners software in your PC. Before diving into developing an app, it is crucial to understand the app's architecture. This will actually help you to create your own app with this Vobot mini doc. You can find more information about it in this link or you can just visit the link in the description. Just a heads up, I'm not deeply familiar with all of these app architectural aspects. I'm just showcasing them in this video for the benefit of experienced app developers. My main focus is testing the Volbot Minidoc for app integration, something we couldn't do in the last video due to using the Gen 1 version. Now let's connect the Volbot Minidoc, run Tony software on PC, and check some sample apps available in GitHub and download them accordingly. So we are going to use these simple apps just to give us an idea how to make it work with the Volbot Minidoc. I'm not going to show you how to make one as this video isn't about teaching app development. Instead, it is focused on demonstrating how your developed app should function with the Vobot Mini Dock. Now, hover your mouse on the bottom left of the software and click this. Make sure that it is connected to ESP32 port. Check files in the view tab so we can see all the apps that we are going to install in the Vobot Mini Dock. Then open the folder where we extracted the app samples we downloaded in GitHub. For example, this Hello World app. We are going to install this one first. Basically, this is your local drive. And this is the Minidocs drive. So be mindful of the storage space since we only have a limited one. Now before we install any app, let us double click the app folder in the MicroPython device which is the Volbot Minidoc. Make sure that you are in the app folder before we are going to do the next step. In your local device, right click the Hello World app and select Upload. This will take a few seconds and it will install the app in the Vobot Mini Dock. The device will restart itself to accommodate the newly installed app. Now as you can see, the Hello World app is already installed. I have also installed the other two app samples the photo album, and the countdown. I also changed their icons as well, as they initially used the Minidocs logo by default. These apps are functioning perfectly and looks great so far. Imagine creating more apps that can seamlessly work with this device, such as a foreign exchange rates app, calculator, chat box, or any other app you can think of. This docking station will prove incredibly useful. Moving on to the conclusion, let's discuss what I like about the Vobot Minidocs app developer mode and what areas could use improvement. One issue I noticed while testing the Minidoc installation in its Gen 2 version 0.2.5 is the constant loading screen, which can be quite annoying, especially during initial startup. I'm not sure what's causing this, but the loading screen constantly grabs my attention, leading to distractions. Another issue I encountered when connecting the Vobot Mini Dock with Tony software, you can't remain idle because it constantly restarts both the Tony software and the Vobot Mini Dock itself. This necessitates constant activity to prevent restarts, and that's quite annoying. Furthermore, there is a limitation in storage capacity. It would be beneficial if we have more storage or a way to expand it somehow. I might sound nitpicky but this enhancement would be fantastic as users could install more apps on this device. We can't deny that the app integration with this regular docking station is very cool. 
Honestly, I've never seen one like this, at least to my knowledge. The docking station itself already has a lot of features and adding an app integration makes it even better. App installation might seem quite a bit complex for some users but certainly straightforward for app developers. Even though I have no prior experience coding and installing these apps in this device, I managed to install it by simply following the instructions provided on Vobot's website guide. If I can do it, I believe you can also. I wish that more app samples will become available for us in the future. Hopefully, Vobot developers will continue to add new ones. This tech is fantastic to have in your desk setup. It not only provides time but also provides weather reports, stock and crypto updates, a calendar, games, and most importantly, your own developed app. If you ask me whether if I recommend this, well, my answer remains the same. It's definitely a yes. And you should consider getting one for yourself too. So don't miss their Kickstarter price launching soon. Check the links in the description for more info. I hope it is affordable, but if it's not, I'll keep you updated with my recommendation. By the way guys, if you haven't seen the first part of the video, you should watch it by clicking the video on your screen. So that's it guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.